Most people agree that welfare should help catch people when they fall, but there's a difference between a safety net and a hammock. They want the cash part of their EBT card, which they use to purchase three cartons of cigarettes. They used the access for every penny with pop, but they didn't have to pay tax with pop. I did. And then after that, they turn around and go to the other end of the counter and purchase multi uh, amounts of lottery tickets. They come from another state, establish a post office box, and they get benefits, and they're not even a citizen of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. House Republicans took a long, hard look at Pennsylvania's welfare system, and what they discovered may shock you. A welfare abuser that received nearly 100 different benefit cards. A man paid $7,000 to babysit his own children. Swindlers who receive welfare from two different states at the same time. And a drug dealer who accepted benefit cards as payments for the purchase of illegal drugs. Pennsylvanians believe their tax money should be used as temporary help for people who have fallen on hard times, not on able-bodied people who don't want to support themselves. Welfare is good, but sometimes people take advantage of it. My mother was on welfare, um, but she was on welfare for six months until she found a job, and she spent that six months finding a job. People don't do that today. I believe you should definitely give help to people who need it, who need it though, not people who are going to take advantage of the system, which I think there are a lot of people who do that. House Republicans propose these simple common sense actions to maintain a fair system of welfare benefits. Administer drug tests to convicted drug felons who receive welfare. Use photo identification to make sure benefits are not misused. Verify a welfare recipient's eligibility using the latest computer technology. Crack down on abusers with tougher penalties. And the practice of shopping around for the best welfare benefits. Stop the waste of Medicaid transportation money. And ban the purchase of any tobacco product with welfare benefit money. Every dollar we take out of fraud, waste, and abuse is a dollar we can restore to truly legitimate programs that my constituents tell me every day are their priorities. Taxpayers deserve to have their money spent for maximum effect and minimum waste. Welfare recipients deserve enough help to get them back on their feet as productive members of their families and society. House Republicans are committed to working with the governor and their colleagues in the Senate to restore integrity to Pennsylvania's welfare system. For more information, go online, pahousegop.com.